You guys have a, a big group of tight ends, both big numbers, big physically. Um, you're you're kind of the the leader, I guess, um, numbers wise. But how do you guys view the competition um, between really the four of you? Uh, you know, there's there's reps. Totally. There's not there's a limited number of reps, obviously. So how do you view the competition? Yeah, uh, I mean it's. I feel like it's different than most positions. Uh, we're all a close group of friends, um, and we all know we're going to play. So it's, we're not really worried about the reps we get or if we're going to get in the game, like because we all know the assignments and we all can perform on the field. So it just kind of comes down to like uh, someone needs a breather, someone goes down, we'll have that next guy to go up. So I mean, we like to compete against each other, but there's no hard feelings about someone beating someone else out or anything like that. So. I think, I think it makes us better and uh, builds chemistry within the unit. How are you feeling physically? I'm feeling good. Uh, I, was, I was banged up a little bit, but I, I've been rehabbing a lot, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good getting ready for that first game. So. Was it frustrating dealing with injuries? You kind of did a little bit at the end of last year. Right? Yeah, uh, it was a little frustrating. I mean, uh, you try to stay positive because, I mean, you, you got to. You can't just uh, put your head down. But, uh, you know, it gives you a chance to help out the younger guys and kind of uh, – look at the game from another perspective and watch more film and just uh, being a little banged up. It's, uh, you kind of work on your craft a little more and uh, yeah. You guys, pretty much all of you, you, know, you specifically, um, a pretty big red zone target for Sean last year. It kind of seemed like every time, especially early in the season, you guys got down into the red zone. It was a play fake and then throw it to you or throw it to one of the tall tight ends. What's your mentality when you get down in the red zone, is do you have a mentality of throw me the ball and I'm gonna catch it? Yeah, that's that's kind of all our mentality. Is say throw it up, we'll catch it. So I mean, we know we have a lot of plays for us down the red zone, and uh, the coaches know we can make those plays after last year. So you know, we're just looking for the, to get the chance, and uh, we'll make the plays. We see you, most of the fans see you guys catching the ball. Um, how important is blocking in what you guys do? It's really important in our, in our offense. Uh, with uh, Coach Tavita being an O lineman here, he uh, has really helped us out a lot, and uh, I think we've, we're blocking well as a unit, better than we ever have. Um, just working on our feet and hands and everything with the with the O line, so that's really important. Um, being a tight end, we have to do that, and we have to be able to run by people, uh, get off get off blocks and routes and stuff like that. So. Is that something you have had to work on your blocking? Yeah, I think all, all of us. Uh, I mean, we come in come in from high school. We're all more like a receiver type tight end so it's just a it's, a it's the progress of putting on weight putting on muscle and then learning the technique and uh, I think as you get older you kind of you kind of figure it out and uh, your technique gets a little better and you know the game better mentally and it makes it a little easier. Jacob Wark is the new addition to this group what does he bring to you guys? Uh, he, he brings a lot of physicality he's smart too and uh, I mean he's new but he, he's an old guy he's my age so I mean uh, when, once he once he learns a playbook and is confident uh, he'll definitely be able to get in the game and uh, show us what he can do. Thanks, Connor. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you.